Hey guys, welcome back to the second video on the channel. So the first video was about my rifle build or the current state it's at. Just got it like less than a month ago now. So if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and go watch that one. And this will make a lot more sense. <laughs> so uh, as I said, second video on the channel. Thanks so much for watching. If you are watching, first video did a lot better than I thought it would. It was like, it's not, I know it's not a lot. But for the first video on the channel, not promoting it on any other socials except just throwing it out on YouTube. Um, it got like, I think I looked at it and it was like 200 views within 10 days. So 20 people a day, not bad at all. If you are one of the few people that subscribed, really appreciate that. That helps get these videos out in the gun community, which is all I want to do with this channel. Just give some basic education, go over a couple things that most common people have uh, we don't always have the Haley strategic and gbrs this and you know we're not always don't not every guy has that kind of money it would be nice to have all the cool fancy stuff but i just want to kind of run through budget stuff mainly just the average guy so to run through it this is going to be my belt and plate carrier setup only have one belt went to i had two belts had just a cheap Amazon one with some cheap Amazon stuff on it. It was a black one. I went to an OCP one just because I wanted a new belt. And I was like, heck, why not go OCP? It's cool. Never going to use it in combat, whatever. But it's cool to carry around at the range, is it? <laughs> so, like I said, the first belt. And then I had this is my second belt. And then I'll go over my plate carrier. I have a main one. Um, and then I have two other backups. only have one backup with me with here with me today. But I'll go over the main one that you'll see in just a second. I'll go ahead and don the plate carrier. So this has a cummerbund that goes around the outside. And it also has clips on the inside to help with a little bit more retention. So I leave one side closed and clipped at all times. Adjusted to where I need it. And just slide it on with one side. You don't have to worry about messing with the other side or messing with the clips or uh so i do have this side clipped pretty tight but let's just believe that's how it should be it makes things a lot closer to your body not moving around as much all right so this is a plate carrier here i'll go over the belt in a second but this is it, very basic. Got two AR mags. Like I said, go watch the first video and you'll understand the weapon system that this feeds right here. Very, very simple, very slick. Don't have a pistol, which you'll see on the belt. Don't have a pistol or anything like that. Have pistol mag pouches over here, but don't use them for pistols. So starting left to right, have a general purpose pouch right here. And then, uh, fixed blade knife this is just a smith and wesson cheap knife comes in a plastic case with a belt clip very simple food on there handcuff key because why not then i have of course as you can see a 30 round mag right here 30 round mag right here then i have this will be the backup flashlight just a small walmart flashlight takes triple a's always carry extra batteries with you because, especially if you're running cheap things like this, you never know. American flag, identifiers, very, very important. America, Texas, almost as important as the American flag. Don't forget where you came from. Definitely from Texas. So this marker, this is just for marking targets at the range, marking paper targets at the range. And I do store it, I do store it ink side down just so it doesn't dry out when it's sitting like this because I don't wear it, always wear it on the range, haven't been recently at all. So I flipped it upside down just so hopefully it gives it a little bit more life and I don't get out there and need it and not have it. So the back is totally slick. It's got a, of course you can see American flag on the back. You saw the American flag right there, very visible. And then it does have a pair of just zip tie handcuffs, just took a bunch of big thick zip ties, tied them together, cause you never know. 
The, they're not handcuffs or restraints mainly. It's mainly for like binding things up and having those, there are three of them and they're big thick ones. So you can take a knife and run it in the receiving end of the zip tie and pull with the little tab button and slide it out. Now you got a full length zip tie or you need a zip tie and throw it around something to cinch it down, whatever you need. This right here, probably most important is the medical kit. So this is a, got it off Amazon, but it's not Amazon quality. <laughs> got it off Amazon, it's like a hundred bucks. So first time I ever spent money on actual medical equipment. So I got this and it came with, it did not come with cat tourniquets. I bought genuine North American Rescue cat tourniquets, Gen 7s from North American Rescue on Amazon. Why not buy from Amazon? It's two day shipping. Usually they have good prices. So this is a simple rip away medical pouch. It Velcro's right here on this thing. Good catch. Velcro's right here. And then up here on front, I have a cat tourniquet staged already. I have it mounted upside down so you can just rip it out. Oh, not cool. Got caught on the elastic there, but you can rip it out, pop it open. Well, you think I'd open the tourniquet before. Anyways, pop it open and there it is. So if you wanna see how to properly stage your tourniquets, there's a guy here on YouTube, his name is Uncle Freedom. Uncle, like, the, like your dad's brother, and then Freedom, like America. Really cool guy on YouTube. He's only got like a couple thousand subs, but he's really, really cool. He's, uh, he's a law enforcement officer and like a medical trainer and all the cool guy stuff. So he's got really good knowledge about staging and, you know, he's got the real life application of being a law enforcement officer and, a, you know, like a rifle instructor. So he's got all that on there. Inside here, I won't go into detail. I'll make a different video about it, but it's just a whole bunch of medical equipment. I've got uh, two chest seals in there, hyphen chest seals from North American Rescue on the side. These are the trauma shears that came with it. They're not just cheap cheaply made metal and plastic um, trauma shears. They're actually made out of titanium. They're decent quality. Obviously, it came with this identifier right here. It's just a very simple red tab with some stitching across it to indicate that it is medical equipment. Inside here, I tried to fit an Israeli bandage and you can fit it, but it takes up the entire thing. Uh, but this comes with combat gauze, like already rolled. It comes with triangular bandages, comes with Band-Aids, but I took the Band-Aids out because I've got Band-Aids in my backpack. So I don't really need boo-boo kind of stuff. So this is, uh, this is mainly for the range, but accidents do happen. You never know, uh, Lord forbid it happened to me or anyone else, but it's always good to have a tourniquet close when you're dealing with firearms. I don't know of anybody that's had accident accidents or whatever, but it never hurts. So that is the plate carrier. Like I said, very simple, very slick. Doesn't have anything uh, special or crazy on it. And you'll see right here, it's got these buckles, which you'll see on the belt. I have an identical medical kit just like this, but it's got the buckles on there. Just holds the tourniquet a little bit more secure in place. And if I get caught on something at the range, it's probably gonna be my rifle stock, honestly. But if you get the rifle stock caught and the Velcro comes off, I don't have to worry about my medical equipment falling out or getting damaged, stepped on or falling in the water or whatever. But moving on to the belt this is uh, the guts of the plate carrier is an AR500 Testudo Gen 2 plate carrier. So that is their biggest weight bearing, the most vents, the most pads, blah, blah, blah. They've got all the cummerbunds and whatever. Um, that is their biggest plate carrier. It came in a bundle when I bought my first armor set in early 2020, right before COVID hit, they had a super screaming deal on this stuff. I got two 10x12 front and back, two 10x12, the AR500 steel, and uh, they were the curved plates, got the curved, and it had the frag lock, the build up, whatever, it's supposed to talk fragmentation. If you don't know about fragmentation, when you shoot steel, that's why these steel targets are at an angle, they're angled down, not straight up, so the spall, when that bullet hits, the steel stops it, but it breaks into a billion different pieces. 
you don't want that stuff to go everywhere and go in your neck when you're wearing armor. Lord forbid you ever have to actually use that armor and put it to the test. But when it hits you, it could go in your neck, it could go in your arms, go in your legs, depending if you're sitting or whatever. It's just really, really bad. But add the AR-500 steel. It was level 3A+, which is not NIJ certified, but it's rigorously tested by AR-500. And its claim is it stops 5.56, the M155, not the M855. Eight fifty-five, not the ball. It's the green tip, but not. There's two different kinds of green tip. Anyways, it stops one of the kinds of green tip ammo, and it also stops seven sixty-two by fifty-one armor penetrators. So, pretty good coverage. But the biggest downside about steel is that thing was incredibly heavy. It was like twenty-something pounds. No joke. It's like smart carrying a small child on your shoulders. It was horrible. But the bundle is like less than 600 bucks, shipping and everything to the door. Um, that included the plate carrier, the two front and back, uh, really good plates. Then it came with two six by eight side armor plates, which this, of course, it has a side armor uh, flap capability. And altogether, the thing, like I said, was 20 pounds. So it was all I had. I saved up money for a long time and I, I got something and that I wanted forever, which was body armor. And just to run around and shoot my AR with, honestly, because I wanted to be cool. So here we are, a couple years later, three years later, and uh, I still have it. I'm not using it every day, I'm not using it every weekend. I've used it probably less than two or three dozen times, not much over that course of three years. But I don't go to the range that often either. So the plate carrier has been amazing. It's got really good quality. As you saw, I spray painted it. Not my best decision. I should have left it pure black. But it's held up in the spray paint. The Velcro is amazing. Velcro is still super Velcro-y, if that's a word. Still works out amazing. Um, I just wanted to kind of share the, the plates that were in it that came with it. But I have since upgraded to LA Police Gear, their level four standalone like a ceramic or a poly something plate, but it's for level four plate. I upgraded to those maybe beginning of this year. No, maybe like January, January or February, some, somewhere in the beginning of 2023. I upgraded to those. They have a screaming deal on them. I got a front and back level four standalone, the poly plate, um, which is known for its lightweightness. Not a word. It is now <laughs> known for their lightweightness um, and their, they don't have spalding, which is super cool. Of course, there's a way to get around it. Like I said, you can buy the curved plates from AR-500 and do a couple different things. But uh, so to stop that fragmentation on the steel plates, which I still have it in front of these level four plates just because I had room for it. But what I did was cut up a um, Kevlar piece of 2A body armor. And that was to stop the spalding. So one, it was kind of, it was 2A armor. So Lord forbid you get shot by a round. That round goes, well, obviously a rifle round or pistol round. It will, uh, not ideally, but it will go through the 2A soft armor or the Kevlar that was on the front of it. I just cut it out. I'm not gonna show it because it's incredibly hard to get back in it. It's not as easy as Call of Duty makes it out to be. It's incredibly hard to stuff a bunch of things in there in the plate pocket, especially when you got those big, thick level four plates. But all I did was cut it up into little body armor panels. I even gave it like a shooter's cut and everything. I got real fancy. And uh, and then I put duct tape around the edges so it would slide in there and keep the Kevlar to better, together better. So that's what I did. Just kind of a cheap way. If all you can afford is steel and you've got some spare Kevlar or you can just buy cheap Kevlar and cut it up and kind of do what I did. If you want to, it's a really budget way to add extra protection and limit that spalding on that cheap steel armor that we've all been there and bought. <laughs> but the level four plates, I still got that that 2A Kevlar in front of that. And then uh, on the very back, I have, that. it came with it. It was free, part of the bundle, like I said in the beginning, but it was, uh, it was the AR-500 trauma pads. Just little pieces of cushion because uh, if your plates stop the bullet, that's great. But 
it's still, you still got a, a round, a projectile, a bullet moving at you at thousands of feet per second, depending on what you get shot by. But you still got a, a projectile moving at thousands of feet per second. It's gonna leave a mark. It's gonna bruise. It's gonna break some bones, whatever. But uh, that is just a quick snippet of a little bit more in detail of what the carrier was, what plates I have in it or had in it, and then uh, the new plates I have in it now. I will say extra thing before we move on to the belt portion is these level four plates are no joke. Like they are amazing on weight reduction. Both of these 10 by 14 level four plates are both of them combined are lighter than a single AR 500, the side plate, like I said, both of them are lighter than that side plate combined. So, LA Police Gear is making a really, really good product. Of course, watch videos of all the, the stuff that you're willing, you're gonna buy or that you're about to buy. Because that's what I did on the AR500 is all I saw was it's budget friendly, but if you know how to set it up and you buy the right things, it's gonna be heavy as heck, but it's still gonna stop bullets. So that's what I did when I first bought this. And then that bundle came out and I was like, boom. I'm doing it, saved up the money, pulled the trigger, no pun intended. Then on level four plates, like I said, came through an email of promotion. I went ahead and jumped on it. Uh, the level four plates, they were 240 in total to the door for level four poly plates. That's a freaking screaming deal. That's like bald eagle America freedom screaming. It was, dude, I was, I was blown away. But one of the best investments for kit that I've ever done. So, watch videos on stuff. Let people spend money before you spend money. Let them see, watch reviews. Watch all this stuff. Don't just copy everybody and uh, make your own stuff. And just try it out. See what works for you. If you don't want to spend all the money on it, watch somebody else spend their money on it, like I am. So, thanks for uh, bearing with me in this little portion. And we're going to skip right into the belt portion. All right, so onto the belt portion. So I took the plate carrier off. I tried to film it with it, but I couldn't see over. So we're gonna do it this way. So this is a um, AN Tactical, A-Y-I-N Tactical. It is a, uh, it's a pretty good quality airsoft company off Amazon. Uh, they have their own website, but all of this is ordered off of Amazon, except the carabiners that came from Walmart. But everything you see here is ordered off Amazon. Like I say, not Amazon quality, but the convenience of the shipping. So this is a, a like I said, the AN Tactical. This is their medium size belt. I'm a 32 waist, 31, 32 waist, but I wear like a 34. I know they don't make many 35s, but like 34, 35, 36 waist uh, pants, but that's just mainly to get over my legs. Um, I got some pretty, pretty good sized legs. Uh, compared to the average person, I would say. Not toot my own horn, but I got some good jeans. <laughs> no pun intended. I got, uh, so it comes with a cobra buckle. It's a, it is a metal cobra buckle. Works really well. I've clipped it and unclipped it a million times and got no visible signs of wear or anything like that. But this is their medium size, which I think is supposed to be, if I'm not mistaken, I'll look. But I think it's a 30 waist up to like a 47. It's adjustable. Or, but I like I said, I'm I'm a true 31, 32 waist. And this is, I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a good two inches of extra extra space right here where it doesn't go around all the way. So I'm probably I really need to go back and try and return it and get a different size or the belt was only like 60 bucks, which is a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I could use this one for, I don't know, like an exterior carrier type thing for winter, I guess. We don't really, we have winters and summer, but they're not extensive. <laughs> so I could probably, I know they got things, pads where you can uh, do the loop Velcro and you can hook it on the back of this and make it into like an exterior, like a battle belt more than like a belt that runs like a two-piece belt. So on the two-piece note, this is the uh, 
this is the one piece, the interior belt that came with it that actually runs through the loops to hold the second piece of the belt in place more. It works pretty well. I have a different one, a black one, that's just a lot stiffer. It, it works, but um, this one has got an OCP tab right here, so it's just for cool guy points, I keep it on there. So up here, I have, again, from AN Tactical, this is her double pistol mag. It comes with a Kydex insert. You can put it in there or not. I have the insert on this one right here, but not on this one, just so the flashlight can fit in there easier. So again, like I said, first part of the video, don't have a pistol, so pistol mag pouches are not for pistols right now. <laughs> Underneath that, I have just a uh, AN Tactical. I just went on their website on the little Amazon profile and they had a whole bunch of OCP high quality stuff that I wanted. So I just went on there and kind of went on a shopping spree a little bit. So a bunch of their stuff that I have is from them. So uh, this is one of their tourniquet danglers. So it just Velcros to the back of the belt, as you can see right here, Velcros to the back of the belt and hangs down just like any other tourniquet holder would. Again, got a Cat 7 tourniquet in there. And I have it staged in a way on the plate carrier. It was more on the right side where I could pull down or and I can come across with the left side. And then I can pull from the left side out and I can pull from the right side out. So this one is mainly oriented towards easier access for my right arm. And this one is oriented for easier access for my left arm. So I can just rip that out. And this is my everyday carry tourniquet. So that's why it has the rubber band on it. And the rubber band is uh, to kind of protect the, it's to one, hold it together because it's not Velcroed back on itself the way it's staged. So it kind of flops around and it's a little bit cumbersome if you wear it like that. So I just have a simple rubber band around it to one, hold it together, and two, keep a tongue depressor on there because the tongue depressor mainly for seizure patients. Um, Unfortunately, I've seen a couple seizures, three seizur seizures, not salad, but uh, three seizures at where I work, unfortunately, um, and I've always needed a tongue depressor to put in between their teeth. So one, they don't uh, choke on their own tongue, so their tongue doesn't fall back in their throat and clog their airways, and so also they don't bite it off because you can easily bite through your tongue if you're not in a cognitive state of mind, and I do would not want that to happen. Uh, thankfully, we've I've seen the seizures happen in front of me, and I've rolled them over other side until uh, an ambulance can arrive and they can get better treatment. You know, just clear everything away. But that's a totally different story. But this is my everyday carry tourniquet. It rolls right here in this. On this side, I have uh, AR mags. I do not know what brand these are, but they're just simple plastic slash Kydex composite thing. Just got some cord through them for from adjustability. They can fit 762 mags. Not the easiest thing to get out, but you can loosen it all the way by this. You can fit a 762 mag in there, but they are made for 556. Five, and you can fit um a whole bunch of other stuff, kind of make it a general purpose retention. If you have a radio or something like that, you don't have a dedicated radio pouch or the pouches you use don't retain it very well. I don't have a radio or anything fancy. So I, you could probably fit a radio in there just for a skinny one for some better retention. But so there is, there's that green, there's that uh, green tip like we talked about in the raffle video. So I have one here. And this is intended, this is my primary reload, not on my plate carrier. This is far enough back. My plate carrier rides high enough up that I don't have to worry about that. So people call it the beer can grip. So grab it backwards, going like this, going into your gun. And the idea behind it is for your mag release, if you go to bolt lock, you throw the mag in there, and your thumb kind of naturally comes up to your mag release. I don't have my rifle close at the moment, but if you're watching this video, you've probably seen a YouTube gun video. So, so I just have the, the same thing, exact same thing, 
back here oriented in the same fashion. I've tried it going this way, but you have to turn your hand in such a way, and it's not the easiest thing to do with that plate carrier, or even without the plate carrier, it's not the easiest thing. And uh, we're kind of in bulking season, trying to get swoller. So it, this just isn't, it's not, this is not my second reload. This is my first. My second reload is uh, the mag, one of the mags on the front, just whichever one I get to. So on the back, you can see the medical kit. Like I said, it's the exact same thing I have on the right side of my plate carrier, but I'll take the belt off to kind of show you this part. Trying to explain it without seeing it would be pretty hard. But I do not have a tourniquet on the outside of this because with that tourniquet there, and I have a tourniquet inside of this one, not inside of the one on my plate carrier, but inside of this one. The idea of those are, I have the one dangling from my belt, quick access, it's my everyday carry one. And then I have the one mounted here, quick access. Again, like I explained a second ago, the left and right arms making it easy. But I do have a tourniquet, same, Cat 7, uh, Cat Gen 7 tourniquets, North American Rescue, staged just like those are inside of here. And this medical kit is the exact same layout and contents besides the tourniquet contents as the one on the plate carrier all the videos i've watched on youtube say make your stuff redundant so like on a rifle i've seen a lot of videos of guys running red dots especially old military guys and law enforcement guys they run a red dot that never dot that red dot is never going to fail in combat but the one in a million chance it does then you have the backup irons redundancy uh, I've seen like guys with the IR lasers, they have the visible, they have the malls or the D-balls or whatever, and the pecs, they have the IR sighting systems, and then even those have some raised, uh, raised second option iron sights and the visible lasers and blah, blah, blah. But just for redundancy, for ease of comfort, um, God forbid somebody has to take this off and use it on me, um, then I can tell them exactly where everything is and it's all labeled so I, again i'll show you in the later video but it's everything's labeled in here dummy proof literally dummy proof i try my best to make everything super super easy one for me and two for other people if they have to use it so back here i have the trauma shears i have drama shears on that one up front so if i don't have my plate carry on for some reason i have them back here cut the pants off put a tourniquet on um, but if you put a tourniquet on probably don't have time or shouldn't take the time to cut the pants off. Just throw that sucker on there and cinch down on it. But this is mounted. This is just a small little pouch. I think it's supposed to be for handcuffs. I don't use it for handcuffs because I don't have a need in carrying handcuffs. But I have it strapped down in here. This does, uh, like if you're sitting in a car or something, it's going to irritate you. I don't sit in a car with this thing, not even at the range. There's just no point in it. This is a range belt, not a go-to-war belt, not a World War III belt. Don't believe in all that stuff. When I was at Bible college, I had a pastor uh, talking about the end of the world theory, and he said he believes in pan theory, which uh, if you trust in Jesus, it's all going to pan out. I thought that was a great joke. Shout out to you, Pastor Hershey. So in the front of this, I didn't really go over this, but I have a flashlight and a pair of latex gloves. They are double XL gloves. I would suggest if you have to, just from my experience working in a hospital in a nursing home, from my experience, get gloves that are two sizes if you can, or a size or two size bigger. Because if you're putting gloves on in an emergency situation, you're gonna be doing it fast. Your hands are probably already sweating. And if you have, if you have a large sized hand, you put a large glove on, it's gonna be extremely difficult to get that on, especially with moisture on your hands. And then you're worried about drying your hands off when you actually need to put those gloves on to do something life-saving or to clean something or whatever. Um, so I, those are double XL gloves. I have a large slash extra large hand. My palm is big, but my, my palm isn't the biggest part, but it's the fingers, they're long, and I got, they're not sausages, but they're a little chubby. 
So that's why I wear a super, super big glove, super big latex glove to keep on me. I keep a pair of gloves on me at work because I carry a tourniquet with me at work. I do not carry a firearm, obviously, because I don't have one. But I carry a tourniquet at work. So if I'm carrying a tourniquet, then I'm gonna carry latex gloves and vice versa. Always have a tourniquet on you. Even if you're not old enough to carry, you're old enough to have a rifle or pistol or whatever, your state has weird laws. Thankfully, I'm in Texas, so I can buy a rifle when I'm 18, which you saw in the first video. But just very simple, just have those things around you. Have these medical kits in your, if you carry a backpack into work, or you have a backpack in your school, if you're a high school student or you're a college student, or you have a bag for work, get a medical kit that works for you. One, know how to use it if you have to watch videos. And if you can, go to medical training courses by licensed professionals, by if you have EMT friends, if you have people who work in hospital, nurse friends, your uncle's a nurse, your aunt's a nurse, whatever. If you have those people in your life, please get the medical training because you don't want to carry something around just thinking you're cool. And then, Lord forbid, you have to use it in an emergency situation and you're standing there drooling, not knowing what to do because that could be negligence on your part if that family that you're trying to help, random person, they come back and they're trying to get all your money because you're carrying stuff and you don't know how to use it. So get trained, train with all your equipment. It's not like the world is ever gonna end. We're probably not gonna see a World War III. We might, you never know. But this is all just range stuff. So that is the gist of the video. I'll go ahead and show you, like I said, one of my extra plate carriers. This is a Amazon cheap $30 airsoft plate carrier, and it's got AR500 level three plus plates in it. This is not my primary plate carrier. This is something small. Uh, AR500 has a, I think it's called the Freeman carrier, but it's like incredibly small, but it's super compact, super light armor. And it's gonna cover on a, on a decent sized guy or gal, it covers about this part right here. Does it cover anything over here? But, you know, if unfortunately, if you're taking rounds, you wanna kinda take them right here anyways. It's because that's where your plates are gonna catch the most. But this is just simple. It's got a double mag pouch on here. I've got it Velcroed up for easy storage, but it's got a double mag pouch on there. It's just a simple one from Amazon. So I'm sitting here editing this video and I thought it was an okay video for the second one. Then I remember I made no outro, no kind of closing arguments or anything like that. <laughs> so here it is on the fly. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this stuff and you want to, you know, stay along for the ride, hope to do an EDC, like stuff like my backpack I carry to work, what I carry in my pockets, that kind of thing. Um, go ahead and click the subscribe button really helps out the channel notice uh we got a good amount of views like last time like i said in the beginning of the video so really appreciative of you watching plus pushes it out helps more people see it grows the channel it's awesome so uh if you enjoyed the video go ahead and drop a sub if you didn't don't drop a sub get down there uh tell me new things that i need to get uh things that i should get rid of whatever just get down there uh or if you just want to say hi Go ahead and get down there in the comments. Say what is up. Like the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Seriously, I appreciate it. If you're seeing this, you're amazing. Thanks for bearing through the video and all my blabbering in these first kind of videos of the channel. All right, have a blessed one.